Okay. Um, this guy, this next clip I'm going to show you, moron, is a YouTuber. This is from the Islam channel. That's the name of this. Um, this video was posted on the Islam channels. I have fe featured this guy before on my channel. He goes around and provokes people, provokes what he calls crackheads. You know, like people that live on the streets and stuff, right? Like, if they're crackheads, I have no idea or not. I don't know. But he goes and bugs them and stirs them up until they start to attack him. And then, you know, and then the police are called. Or if it gets bad enough, he'll assault them. YouTube pushes this stuff. And now... He's gone and done it again, but finally, some people have picked up what picked up on what he's doing. So I don't care what your political um, side of the aisle is. This need not to be happening. Let's take a look and count how much misinformation or disinformation he says throughout this video. Let's watch. Oh, this is Manchester Charlie, by the way. Take offense, but does your manager know you're wearing the Palestinian kafia here at the People's History Museum, a taxpayer funded museum? Sorry, madam, does your manager know that you're wearing a symbol of uh, Hamas here? Excuse me, sorry. What about that says Hamas? Nothing about that says Hamas. That is a scarf. He even said the name of the scarf. That's one the manager um no but um i'm just this yeah please um i went to the, use the bathroom i noticed she's wearing a symbol of palestinian resistance yeah. and i think that is just a scarf that they wear since it doesn't symbolize hamas that's two this, this is a government funded building it's taxpayer not, we are an independent charity okay well that makes it even worse then even worse okay, are you filming with your phone? i am because i don't think this should be allowed I don't think you should be allowed to film unless you have the consent of the person. No, but... She's wrong on that one. I don't know what the laws are for their government buildings there, but she's wrong. This is a political point. While, you, while they're still holding hostages, I think your little smirk is very offensive, young lady. I don't and, think uh, it's offensive. But anything. Hamas killed over a thousand people and they're holding hostages, including no, children. They didn't kill over a thousand people. That's debunked. Yes, that many people died, but the IDF, Israel themselves, killed more. No babies. No babies. That's been debunked. Uh, so and actually, Israel has more hostages than Hamas has. Israel has almost 10,000 host Palestinian hostages. Hamas has 111. She's wearing the symbol of, of Hamas. That's yeah. Another one. Three. That's not a symbol of Hamas. Four. At the moment, whilst they're still holding hostages, this is disgusting. And it's also a tacit support for the rapists, the murderers, the hostage takers. No rape took place. That, that's three more. No rape took place. Israel has more hostages than Hamas has. What are we at? Ten now? Being inappropriate if you no, I think that scarf. Her. So, sorry, so, so she can be inappropriate, but if I take offense to it, I'm suddenly inappropriate. She doesn't attack verbally anyone. That's what you're doing. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm speaking calmly. I've not raised my voice. I, I, I've taken great offense. I'm not Jewish, but I have many Jewish friends. That's exactly what a racist says. And some of them actually have lost family members in the October 7th attack. And you think it's okay to smirk? Oh, yeah, the October 7th attack that the IDF killed over half of them. But nothing about the 100,000, 200,000 that the IDF has killed, right? Nothing about them, right? It's all about, it's all about just that one day in the, in the, the killings, not anything beyond it, right? It's a fucking loser. Smirk at me, wearing that symbol of resistance. So, another one but knowing then that maybe you were ignorant maybe you didn't know that jewish people might find that as a symbol of rape and murder but knowing now that it is 
Who cares if they do think that? Who cares? If I want to wear something, I'll fucking wear it. And if you take offense of it to it, then that's your problem. This is a male Karen, straight up. Where's the manager? I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. So can I... Even if it was. Have your name? No. You can have my name. My name's Charlie Veach. Charlie Veach. Okay. Why can't I have your name? Because she doesn't have to for give my, it. For my channel. My, my channel is called Charlie Veach. If you stop oh, yeah, his channel, right? That good old devil YouTube money. Well, how do we challenge people who tacitly support terrorists and murderers? Tacit oh, let's not talk about your government and all the killings and all the gold and the rubies looted from other countries, from Pakistan to India. Let's let's talk about that there, Charlie. Let's talk about what your country has done, let alone killing over 200,000 or more fucking Palestinians just this year. I can't watch this anymore. You get it. This man's a fucking loser. Sorry, you had to hear that. I can't stand him. This is the type of thing his YouTube channel is all about. But you, this is the first time I've seen him attack a woman and do nothing but lie. Everything he said was a lie and has been debunked. We know that the IDF killed their own people on October 7th, let alone allowed that whole thing to happen. Israel has almost 10,000 Palestinian hostages, let alone they're raping them, sticking things up their ass, beating them. You, I've showed you videos of them coming out of that jail. They can barely walk. Some of them are missing limbs. But we're not going to talk about that, right, Charlie? Or, you know, all the... Oops, I'm not on the screen. Sorry, guys. And, uh... What about all the gems your country has stole from other countries, from India and Pakistan and more? Japan, probably. Where did all the gold go from Syria when MI6 and the CIA had McGaffey killed? All right, let's talk about that, Charlie. Anyways, I'm going to put the links to all these clips down in the description. Okay, don't forget, I am doing a giveaway on Rumble. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, one lucky subscriber is going to get a $100 gift card. I'm still tweaking on how we're going to set this up. Okay, for entries and, and whatnot, okay? But just let you know that we are going to be doing a giveaway in the near future and please like share comment i'm being shadow banned here on rumble so help me get the channel out there if you would please thank you you all take care have a great blessed weekend and we'll see you guys on monday Bye for now. God bless.